Welcome back to Pacific Ventures presents Property Scape. Find the keys to your home. The only real estate show that fuses business and lifestyle all in one. This segment is called Expert Speak, where I bring in industry experts to answer your queries regarding real estate. As property investors look to invest outside the GCC, we are going to find out how you can transfer capital seamlessly for construction projects back home. Remittances from the UAE are on track to record 15% growth in 2014 to around $14 billion mark, surpassing the overall GCC growth rate in outflows at 12.57%. I went to exchange money just to find out what is making money transfers so easy. Welcome to Expert Speak. My name is Mihir. Are you looking to invest in a property back home or have you identified a dream home you'd like to purchase? If you're trying to understand how to transfer money in a simple, fast and safe manner, maybe we can help you with that. We are joined today by Mr. Sudesh Gideon, Vice President and Business Head of Express Money. Mr. Gideon, welcome to Expert Speak. Thank you. So, Express Money is in the business of money remittances. What other services come under your purview? Uh, basically, we are into money transfers mm -hmm. across the globe. Uh, we do cross-border mm -hmm. as well as domestic money transfers in 150 countries right now. Mm -hmm. We have 170,000 agent locations globally today. Wow. And we continue to grow aggressively. Uh, our prime product, as I said, is cross-border as well as domestic money transfers. Mm -hmm. But we use various channels of money transfer. Our primary channel today is cash to cash, mm -hmm. uh, for which we have uh, in 150 countries. Besides cash to cash, uh, in about 60 countries today, we do cash to accounts where the money that is transferred from any country uh, from our network gets into a, an account you know, maintained by the customer. Mm -hmm. Besides this, uh, we have cash to card. Incidentally, we launched India's first cash to card product uh, mm -hmm. in association with Punjab National Bank last November and we followed up with a launch of a similar product with State Bank Group in, in the month of July this year. Uh, it's a matter of pride for Express Money that we are the only international money transfer organization to have launched such a card. And we have plans to uh, launch such product in other countries as well going forward. Our fourth channel of business is cash to mobile. In select markets, we also put money onto the mobile wherever the regulators allow us to do so. The fifth channel is cash to ATM, where a customer on the receive side can go to an ATM without using a card, he can pull out cash. And uh, this association uh, we have with Access Bank in India, and we also are contemplating launching this service in other markets as well. The sixth channel of business for us right now is cash to home, where the money gets delivered at the doorstep of a customer. Oh, okay, We do six channels uh, you know, uh, for money transfer. Besides this, Express Money also operates in domestic markets. Uh, wherever the regulators allow us to transfer money within the country, mm -hmm. we facilitate money transfers within the country. Mm -hmm. right? Besides this, Express Money is also looking at other segments like customer to business, business to customer, and business to business mm -hmm. uh, product lines. So, you told me some very interesting ones that I have never heard before. Yeah. Mr. Gideon, buying a property back home is a dream for all expats. How can Express Money add value to this process? Uh, basically, you know, uh, as per the core expertise that we have, we can facilitate remittances into India. Uh, when the money goes into uh, India, the customer can then decide as to how he can put the money into a particular designated account back in India. Uh, we do facilitate remittances cross-border. Uh, at this juncture, though we are not doing uh, account rates to designated accounts in India, mm -hmm. if the regulator gives us an approval down the line, we definitely look at entering into a segment called C2B, which is customer to business, okay. which will probably help people to put money into an account directly in India. Okay. So, um, how will it work for now? Does the money go into the loan account or does it go into the personal account and then gets transferred into loan account? The way it happens right now is that it goes into uh, the NRE account, mm -hmm. uh, which one would have opened. Yes. From the NRE account, it gets transferred to a local account. From the local account, it goes into the designated account of a corporate. Understood. Either you can put the money directly into an account or you can issue a check. Understood. To the corporate. Fair enough. Or it could be an automated payment. Into Absolutely. The loan Fair enough. Express Money recently moved offices to Dubai. How does this affect the customer? Uh, basically, you know, it's been on our mind to shift our base from Abu Dhabi to Dubai. We have operated from Abu Dhabi for a long, long time, but uh, Dubai is an international city and there is plenty happening on this side. So we are always contemplating uh, moving to Dubai and we've just done that. 
Uh, but from a customer point of view, since we follow a typical franchise model, uh, there won't be any change uh, per se. Uh, you know, we have agent locations all across. In the UAE, we have close to 400 locations and we are expanding further. Mm -hmm. So uh, our business model doesn't change by shifting the base. The business model is still the same. It's a franchise model and we continue to grow this model. Uh, right now we have 170,000 locations across the globe mm -hmm. and soon we'll be crossing 200,000 locations. And our wow. vision is to be every country on earth by 2015 end. And, and, and cross 300,000 locations. Wow. So what new services can we look forward to in 2014? This year uh, on our cards definitely is cash to accounts in India. Uh, mm -hmm. We're just about to uh, wrap it up and uh, start doing account credits in India. Uh, we are in discussion with a few banks in India to facilitate this. Uh, secondly, you know, we'll also be through the online system uh, going to introduce the accounts to account uh, uh, kind of a scenario mm -hmm. uh, where the money will be pulled out from an account mm -hmm. on the send side, mm -hmm. be it US, Canada, UK or Australia and the money will then flow into an account in India. So coming back to the question that you had asked earlier, mm -hmm. if one way to do a payment to a corporate in India mm -hmm. for buying property mm -hmm. from the account in India, the customer can then send it across to the corporate. Ah, okay. So I could say, go to my online account over here and transfer the money straight off from my account. Absolutely. This is again uh, subject to regulatory approval. Sure. Uh, wherever uh, we have uh, the approval of the regulator and wherever we have the infrastructure ready, we'll be able to do it from an account. As we speak, we are just on the verge of launching this service from US, Canada, UK and Australia to start with and from the other markets as well later. Understood. Thank you, Mr. Gideon, for joining us today. It was a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you. It was great talking to you as well. So, if you're looking to transfer money for your property payments in a simple, fast and safe manner, Express Money is your answer. I hope that will help you take a step forward for investing in the dream project back home. Remittances were never this easy. If you have any questions you'd like our experts to answer, do send us an email on propertyscape at queenbeeproduction.com. It's time to bid adieu. We will keep bringing you the very best in the property market in Dubai. We'll see you again next week at the same time on the same channel. In the meantime, take very good care of yourself and keep watching Property Escape. Yeah.